Welcome back to Plumbing in Jamaica. We're back again with another epic video. Today we're going to talk about water tank installation. All right, my camera guy is not here today, and I forget my camera stand. So I'm about to connect this socket union here with the female adapter over to the smart head. So I'm going to put the phone down for a little while, and then get back with you guys in a few. Alright, so I'm about to connect this um, female adapter right here on the smart head and it's basically a one inch female adapter because on the smart head right there it's a one inch outlet it's a very thick pipe so I put the thread tape on it and then I'm going to screw on the female adapter now screw it on with my hand at first see how far down it goes before using the groove joint pliers alright so I'm about to use the groove joint pliers now you want to put a little pressure on here when you're screwing on the female adapter so you don't break anything you do it one joint at a time turn break turn Break, turn, break, turn, turn, and you want to tighten it until it covers that area that it's screwed onto. But at the same time, you don't want to over tighten it because, as I said, you wouldn't want anything to break. You're gonna tighten it as much as possible, that should do the job. Now I'm about to connect back my socket union, which is right here. There is a rubber on the socket union. If this is not on the socket union, it will never work properly. So you're going to put that rubber in right there. There is actually a groove for that. Put the pipe as close as possible to it. Then you tighten. Some of the time it takes a little while to get in those grooves, so yeah. Normally you tighten from right, but I am on the opposite side now, so I'm actually turning anti-clockwise. Yeah, in case you're wondering. Alright, and that's nice and tight, right there. Okay, so this is my groove joint pliers. This is my groove joint pliers. And I have a thread tape and a silicone. Yeah, this is my little secret ingredient. All right, so water tank installation is very simple, not hard. All right, and this has a water pump as you can see. Yeah, and not only does it have a water pump, it has a smart head. This is a smart head. And it has a pressure valve right there. So you can see the amount of pressure normally can go up to five bar where that is a steady pace the smart head what it does is when the water is gone and you turn on a pipe inside your house the smart head automatically switches on the pump so you don't have to be manually turning on any pump all right and you can see the electrician did a very good job here he added a switch here which i turned off when i was about to work on that just turn it back on you can hear the pump pump sounds good the reason for that is because I turned off the main so the water is coming from the tank now if someone should turn on a pipe in the house all right yes this electrician did a very good job he installed the switch on the roof all right so no kids can't trouble it so the water tank now it has two sections one where the water fills from one where the water comes from okay let's talk about where the water fills from so inside the tank i added a valve float or a high up valve as you can see when the water reaches to the top and lifts this ball up it shuts off automatically i can demonstrate that for you so if this should be lowered down now 
you should be getting water but once the pressure lifts the ball up it should shut off automatically which causes your tank to not overflow uh, have you ever seen those tanks with the side full of white marks like chlorine residue that's because there is an overflow so what that that ball floater that high up valve does is to prevent the tank from overflowing right here I added a socket union so if you should ever come across um, any issue with your high up valve and want to change it instead of having to cut it off and put a couple in you can just screw off the socket union something similar to what is right here it's exactly the same thing except it's a different size so you just screw this off do what you're doing screw it back on so you don't have to cut and tange it which is actually a good thing right okay so let's talk about the outlet now the outlet is where the water comes from the tank to go to your house we screw a male adapter inside this female section that is a built-on section to the tank after you put in your male adapter and this male adapter is a three quarter inch because this outlet is three quarter inch after you put in a male adapter you put a piece of pipe in it then make sure you add a lock off always ensure that you add a lock off to exactly where the, the, the water is coming from the tank so if anything should go bad you can always turn it off and then do what you're doing turn it back on which is what i did when i was um fixing that issue right there a while ago okay you can put it as close as possible up here if you want if you wasn't using a water pump this non-return valve you will put it as close as possible to here but you would still would put the lock off before it all right so the water travels here comes through this lock off comes up this elbow go through this elbow i have another socket union here we're going to talk about the socket unions again in a few then it goes in the tank the socket union is here because if something should go wrong with the tank with the pump you just screw off the socket union screw off this one because the water goes into the pump and out of the pump it goes into the pump right there so you can screw this off to, to detach the pipe from the pump and it comes from the pump right here you can screw this off to detach the pipe from the pump then you would then you'd be able to move the pump physically it's 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 actually anchored to the floor by two screws one right there which is a concrete screw and i added an extra reinforcement screw around here as you can see actually tightening it tighten it with this this is actually a this is actually a genius part of my proportion it's actually a tank to bowl screw that is used on the toilet i turn the flathead down in the concrete this part up and then tighten it up so it's actually the reverse to what you would do with the toilet tank and as you can see this area i did a little precast here so that the pump is not directly on the decking i like to do that most of the time I even do the same for the tank to put the tank on a platform okay so when the water enters in the pump it comes inside this chamber here right here is the chamber where the water comes to over here is the pump section that pumps the water all right this is a one horsepower pump as you can see one horsepower pump and uh, it's a 220 voltage pump so you can't just plug it in you'd have to use a 220 electricity on it okay so when the water comes in here the pump turns on spins the water pump it in the smart head the smart head pushes it this way pushes through the non-return valve comes down and then goes down to your house there's another lock off right here as you can see i, I like adding adding lock offs so you have uh, options all right in case anything should go wrong non return valve the water flows this way anywhere you see that looks like a cone that's where the water flows too if there is not an arrow you can use this as an indicator if you're not a pro level plumber 
so as you can see again it's a very nicely installed job it's actually a 400 gallon water tank that can supply a single household for at least three weeks depending on how you're using it especially if you're not using it to do anything in the washing machine yeah remember everyone to please like this video share this video and subscribe to this channel also remember to hit the notification bell so you never miss a video okay so this is a wonderful job this is a very excellently done job very professionally done all right so this is plumbing in jamaica and if you want to reach us you can always whatsapp us at 330-8029 okay all right so there you have it water tank installation with a pump connected to it yeah take care everyone have a blessed day now